Okay, good morning from the deserts of Arizona. 7.30 on a hot, sticky end of July day. I have had a lot of issues calibrating this Cheerson CX-20. A lot of this, the stuff, of course, that came in the book that came with the, with the copter itself, I couldn't get it to calibrate. It seems to work better when I do, and I'm gonna try it again on cam, so if I actually pull it off, you can see how it works for me. A lot of guys, they do it, they flip it on, they hold that stick to the left, right there. But that doesn't work for mine. There are others where you flip this guy here, the SWA key, about 15 times. That's the one that worked for me. Even though this copter, it is July 2015, I got this copter about two months ago, it seemed like the new way to do it was with the left stick, right there, left stick. However, that's not always the case. This one, I did over here and finally did it. Now, no guarantees here, I'm gonna give it a try. Try not to stick my ass in the camera. So once we get it plugged in, once we get it plugged in, we're gonna turn this on right away and start flipping the thing. If it should indicate the light here, should indicate and go from flashing red and green to, to, a, to a yellow light. So let's see what we got. This is the second time I plugged this in today. We should get GPS pretty quick. All right, I'm turning on the guy here. Everything's up. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Okay, so now what, we're, well, what it tells us to do is we leave everything alone. We're going to pick it up. We're going to rotate to our left two complete revolutions. There's one. Two complete revolutions. Then we're going to point it nose down. Nose down, two complete revolutions. To the left again, it says. There's one. There is two. Two complete revolutions. There's one. Two complete revolutions. Then we're going to point it nose down. Nose down. Two complete revolutions. To the left again, it says. There's one. There is two. Okay. At that point, the green light came back on. Notice. Green light's back. Okay. At that point, the green light came back on. Notice, green light's back on. We should be good to fly. Some of them tell you to unplug the battery. On the other one, where you uh, use the left joist, the left stick there, this one does not. So let's see what happens, man. We're going to find out together. Keep the little door locked a little better. OK. We're looking to fly a nice little stable. I'm just going to go up for a couple of seconds here. See what kind of stable we have here. Okay. All right, she is in manual mode now. Oh yeah, bucking around pretty good. She is in manual mode. I'm going to try and hold it in the hover. And hold it in the hover. Manual mode, but she's out of trim, that's for sure, okay. Let's go into stable. There is, there is GPS hold and she's floating away on me. And lose an altitude. I'll bring her back. You know, there are times when it does appear to be smoother when I do this. Again, this is only time a second time I've calibrated it. See, it should be holding, but it's. It holds within the general area. I'm gonna hold it precise, I get that, you know. And at altitude, you know, if you go up and do an altitude check, I've had this up to just under 800 feet. And you can't tell if it's moving 10 feet, you know.
No camera on board. Just doing a little experiment here. I mean, so right there you can tell it's smoother. Sort of. In theory. You know, I mean, it's still. These are good copters, but they're they're they can be a jittery man. They can be they can be a little bit bucky, as they say, because you know they buck around a little bit. They jump around. You you, you start banging the sticks around in GPS mode. That's really a camera mode, stable mode, where you can just do nice, easy. Say you want to do some box turns, like. Nice, easy rotation turns. Stuff like that. And that's what your stable mode is all about here. It's really for camera droning. This kind of stuff. It's not really for carving up the sky. Little altitude, go back to manual. Whoa, calm down. Shouldn't expect too much. Manual landing. Let's see if we can inch her forward here. All right, well, <laughs> any landing that doesn't break the legs is a good one. So there it is, calibration. Calibration of CX-20, the way that's not in the book. SWA toggle about 15 times, and it makes it, it changes the light. Now, it does that on mine. I've seen other guys where they fight, and they turn it 40 times, and nothing happens. But I've been lucky with this one so far. So that's it. From the farm in Chandler, Arizona, Tony from AZ Quadcopters, have a great day.